Welcome to Unit 8. This unit is all about food. The food we love and the food we hate. When I was a child, I really hated broccoli too. But now it's one of my favourite vegetables. What food and drink do you love or hate? I love pasta and Japanese food, but I hate coriander. I like lemonade, but I don't like beer. I like Coca-Cola and pizza, but I don't like pasta and Fanta. In this unit, you will learn how to talk about food and drink using countable nouns such as bananas, eggs, tomatoes and uncountable nouns such as milk, coffee and pasta. Some or any. Much or many. In this unit you will learn how to use these words correctly to talk about food and drinks. Do you like ice cream? I love it. In reading and speaking, you'll read about the history of ice cream and also discover some amazing facts about this wonderful dessert. What do you think are the most popular flavours? What are some of the more unusual flavours? Bread Shampoo, four batteries. Oh, I need to go to the supermarket a bit later to do some shopping. When did you last go shopping? What did you buy? In vocabulary and pronunciation, we'll look at some of the everyday items people buy. Are you ready for a challenge? Go online and complete the challenge task. Use the discussion board to share ideas with each other. Have fun. See you soon. Eight point one Food and Drink Tea Coffee Wine Cheese Yogurt Pasta Ice Cream Apple Juice Bread Milk Chocolate, broccoli, chicken, bananas, apples, strawberries, potatoes, carrots, peas, onions, tomatoes. Eggs, biscuits, crisps, chips, sausages. Eight point two. Were you a fussy eater? Um, oh, good. We have some tomatoes. Um, sorry, Matt. No tomatoes for me. I hate them. Come on, Jake. Tomatoes are really good for you. <laughs> I didn't like them much when I was a kid, but I love them now. Mm, I didn't like a lot of things when I was a kid. Ah, uh, you were a fussy eater. What didn't you like? I didn't like any vegetables. Well, I liked potatoes, 
but only chips. And I hated all green vegetables. <laughs> Do you like them now? Um, not really. Uh, I quite like peas, but I still can't eat broccoli. I hate it. What about fruit? Did you like any fruit? I liked some fruit, but not all. I quite liked bananas and apples, but not strawberries. And I liked fruit juice. <laughs> I drank a lot of orange juice. Yeah. And now you drink a lot of beer. Yeah. And coffee. But I didn't like coffee or tea when I was a kid. Mm. A lot of kids don't like coffee. I didn't like it until I was 16. Mm. So what did you like? What were your favourite foods? I liked all the usual things kids like. Ice cream, chocolate, crisps, biscuits and, oh, and sausages. I loved sausages. <laughs> all the unhealthy things. Sausages aren't unhealthy. And I like pasta too, with tomato sauce and some cheese on top. That's healthy. Tomato sauce? But you hate tomatoes. Tomato sauce is different. Hey, let's not cook tonight. Let's go out to Mimo's. Oh, great idea. It's my favourite Italian restaurant. And it isn't too expensive. Eight point three in an Italian restaurant. Good evening, guys. What would you like? Um, I'd like the spaghetti bolognese, please. Same for me, please. I really like spaghetti. Fine. And would you like the wine list? No, thanks. Just a glass of wine for me. Do you like red wine, Matt? Yeah. Well, let's get a bottle of house red. Fine. And some water too, please. Of course. Would you like sparkling or still? Just some tap water, please. No problem. Thanks, guys. Hey, it's our turn to cook for the others tomorrow. What would you like to cook? Mm, I'd like to cook my very favourite meal. And what's that? Toad in the hole. My mum makes the best toad in the hole. I can get her recipe. Toad in the hole? Ugh. What's it made of? Toads? Of course not. <laughs> it's made with sausages. And do you like sausages? I love them. Everyone likes sausages. 8.4 Would you like? Do you like? 1. Excuse me, are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like a steak, please. Two. Would you like a sandwich? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Three. Do you like Ella? Yes, she's very nice. Four. Would you like a cold drink? Yes, please. I'd love one. Five. Can I help you? Yes, we'd like a table for two, please. Six. What do you do in your free time? Well, I like going to the gym. Eight point five. Choose the correct answer. One. What kind of wine do you like? Two. Would you like a cheese and ham sandwich? Three. Who's your favourite author? Four. What do you want for your birthday? Five. Do you have any pets? Six. Would you like some ice cream for dessert? 8.6. Listen and check. 1. What kind of wine do you like? I like French wine, especially red. 2. 
Would you like a cheese and ham sandwich? Just cheese, please. I don't like ham. Three. Who's your favourite author? I like books by Jodie Picoult. Four. What do you want for your birthday? I'd like a new computer. Five. Do you have any pets? I'd like a dog, but Dad says no. Six. Do you want some ice cream for dessert? No, thanks. I don't like ice cream. Eight point seven. The shopping list. Mum's recipe for toad in the hole looks easy. Good. Would you like me to help? <laughs> It's okay. I like cooking. Um, you can help make the shopping list. Okay. Now, do we have any eggs? And how much milk and flour is there? Well, we have some eggs, but not many. Just two. How many do we need? Um, three. Okay. Put eggs on the list. And milk. We need a lot of milk. No problem. We have a lot, and we have a lot of flour too. Great. And um, vegetable oil. How much oil is there? There's some, but not a lot. Look.、Mm, that'll do. What about herbs? Do we have any thyme? Uh, I can't see any. Okay, we need thyme. Now,、um, what else? Sausages. They're very important. We have two, but they look really old and sad. How many do we need? Um, eight. <laughs> Put sausages on the list.、Mm -hmm. Oh, and a large packet of frozen peas. Is that it? Yeah. So first the supermarket. Then the cooking. I can't wait to try this. Eight point eight. Much or many. One. How much toast would you like? Just one piece, please. Two. How much ice cream do we have left? Not a lot. Just some vanilla. Three. How many people were at the wedding? About a hundred and fifty. Four. How much money do you have in your pocket? Just fifty p. Five. How much petrol is there in the car? It's full. Six. How many children does your brother have? Two, a boy and a girl. Seven. How many days is it until your birthday? It's tomorrow. Eight. How much time did you need for this exercise? Just three minutes. Eight point nine, the history of ice cream. Who invented ice cream? There is no sure answer to this question. Perhaps it was the Chinese in two hundred BC. They used ice to freeze rice with milk. Perhaps it was Alexander the Great or the Roman Emperor Nero, A.D. thirty-seven to sixty-eight. They both liked snow flavored with fruit and honey. The thirteenth century, China to Italy. In twelve sixty nine, Marco Polo travelled to East Asia. He returned home twenty four years later with many marvels of the world, including a recipe for ice cream from China. So the Italians became the first people in Europe to enjoy this luxury. The sixteenth to the seventeenth century. Italy to France to England. Italian noblewoman Catherine de Medici was a great fan of ice cream. In 1533, she married Henri II of France 
and introduced him to the delicious dessert. Later, Charles I of England became an ice cream fan when his French chef made it for a royal banquet. He called it cream ice and paid his chef £500 to keep the recipe secret. However, in 1665, it appeared in an English cookery book by Lady Anne Fanshawe. She called it icy cream. For many years, ice cream was a luxury, enjoyed only by royalty and the rich. It wasn't until 1686 that ice cream first appeared on a restaurant menu. A Sicilian, Procopio dei Coltelli, opened the Café Procope in Paris and introduced Italian gelato. It was made of milk, cream, butter and eggs, more like the ice cream we know today. The 18th to the 21st century. America and the world. We don't know exactly when ice cream arrived in America, but it was probably with European settlers in the early 1700s. We do know that the first advertisement appeared in the New York Gazette in 1777, and the first ice cream parlour opened in New York City in 1790. We also know that the first ice cream factory opened in Baltimore in 1851, but grocery shops didn't start selling it until the 1930s. The popularity of ice cream grew and grew. In 1946, the Americans celebrated victory in World War II with ice cream, and in 1984, US President Ronald Reagan made July National Ice Cream Month. Eight point ten, ice cream. Some amazing facts. One, the most popular ice cream flavor is vanilla, followed by chocolate and strawberry. Two, some of the most unusual flavors are toothpaste, fish and chips, garlic, and pizza. Three. President George Washington once spent $200 on ice cream, about $3,000 today. 4. NASA says that ice cream is one of the things most missed by astronauts in space. 5. In the early days of TV, mashed potato was used in cooking shows because ice cream melted under the lights. 6. The busiest day for selling ice cream is Sunday. 7. Americans eat on average 27 litres of ice cream a year, but New Zealanders love it more. They eat 28 litres. 8. The US ice cream industry makes $21 billion a year. Eight point eleven, A meal to remember. 1. John. For me, it has to be this. I was with my girlfriend in France, in Nîmes, in the south, we were students studying the language and, of course, we didn't have any money. Well, very little money. We knew a cheap but good cafe near where we lived, but we could still only afford one meal between us. We ordered one small steak and some chips to share. We finished it in minutes. The man at the next table had a mountain of mussels and some bread and wine. He looked at us and smiled. Then he said, uh, in French, of course, I'm not so hungry this evening. Would you like some of these? And he gave us a big bowl of his mussels. The cafe owner saw this and smiled. And then he came over to our table with two bottles of really good white wine and four glasses. And so we all, the cafe patron, the kind man, my girlfriend and I sat down together and enjoyed delicious food and drink, excellent conversation and a lot of laughs.
It was a great evening and a meal to remember for the rest of my life. 2. Alison This uh, is a very memorable meal for me from many years ago. Um, my husband and I were living and working in East Africa on the coast uh, in a town called Tanga in Tanzania. Uh, Tanga's a port, so lots of boats came there from all over the world and some from North Africa. And uh, we often had Arab dows there selling rugs. We bought one, a really beautiful one, and we still have it. Anyway, because of this, we uh, were invited to a meal on board one of the dows. We were really excited. What an experience. We took our 10-month-old daughter with us and sailed out to the dow. We could smell the most fabulous smell as we got near to it. The men welcomed us warmly and helped us aboard with the baby. And there, in the middle of the deck, was one huge bowl of the most delicious chicken curry. Uh, it looked and smelt fantastic. Then all the men and my husband sat down on the deck round the bowl and started eating, just with their hands, taking out large pieces of chicken. Unfortunately, according to custom, because I was a woman, I couldn't eat with them. I uh, just held the baby and watched. Finally, they finished and it was my turn. The only problem was that there was no chicken left in the curry, just some sauce. That didn't please me at all and uh, <laughs> it's why I will always remember that meal. When people think about British food, they often think about traditional food, like fish and chips. Or more unusual takeaway food, like Cornish pasties. Cornish pasties come from Cornwall, in the southwest of England. The pasty is usually made with some potatoes, vegetables and meat, baked inside pastry. But international food is popular in Britain too. There are a lot of restaurants, markets and festivals where you can try delicious food from all around the world. How about trying some Jamaican jerk chicken with some rice and peas? So what food do you love or hate? I like French food. I also like Thai food. Well, I like Chinese food, and I think you like Chinese food yeah, too. Yeah, I like Chinese food. My favourite food is Indian. I really don't like peas. I like Japanese food. Uh, I like Italian food, like uh, pizzas and pastas. My favourite food um, is jacket potato with um, chilli con carne. <laughs> I don't like cereal. This is the Cowley Road in Oxford. Cowley Road isn't a big street, but it's often very busy. There are a lot of cars and buses. But if you'd like to try some new and exciting international food, it's a great place to go. On this one street, you can find food from China, the Middle East, Italy, Poland, Greece, Jamaica, or Russia. And if you prefer to cook at home, there are also food shops where you can buy the ingredients to cook recipes from around the world.
There are also a lot of Indian restaurants on the Cowley Road. Although they are called Indian restaurants, they often serve food from India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. They're also known as curry houses. Curry is one of the most popular dishes in the UK. The Majlis restaurant is one of the curry houses on the Cowley Road. The kitchen is small and busy. It's nearly lunchtime. The three chefs prepare many different dishes for the lunchtime menu. They cook traditional Bangladeshi and Indian food. There are fresh vegetables and spices in all the dishes. There's a lot of chicken and fish in Bangladeshi food. There's some lamb too, but there isn't any pork. The chef prepares a curry with chicken and prawns. He prepares and fries some very large prawns. He cooks some chicken in a special oven called a tandoor. When the chicken is cooked, he chops it into small pieces. The chef fries some onions and some chilli in a large frying pan. Then he adds some spices. There are a lot of different spices in the dish. The chef doesn't need a recipe. He knows which spices to use. He adds the chopped chicken to the frying pan. He mixes all the ingredients together. Then he adds the cooked prawns. The dish is nearly ready but there's a lot more food to cook. The chef makes naan bread. He cooks the bread in the tandoor. People usually have some naan bread and rice with their curry. Finally, all the dishes are ready. There's a lot of food. It all looks amazing. Yeah. 8.12 Shopping list Aspirin Plasters, deodorant, toothpaste, shampoo, sun cream, batteries, scissors, adapter, notebook, pens and pencils. Envelopes.
Sellotape. Magazine. Chocolate. Eight point thirteen. Shopping in the high street. One. I'd like some batteries, please. What sort do you want? Double A, please. Would you like a packet of four or six? Six is too many. Four is enough. Anything else? That's all, thanks. Two. Have you got any baby shampoo, please? Yes, we have. A small or large? Ah,、uh, the large is too big. The small is fine. Anything else? No, thanks. How much is that? Three. I'm looking for a nice pen for a present. What about this one? It's twenty-five pounds. No, that's too much. I don't want to spend that much. Well, this one is twelve pounds. That's better. And I need some pencils as well. There are ten pencils in this packet. But I only want two. I'm afraid I only have packets of ten. Sorry. Eight point fourteen, sounding polite. I'd like a latte, please. I want a hot chocolate. Give me some cheesecake. Can I have an egg sandwich, please? Ah,、uh, two cups of tea. Could you bring me some ketchup? Eight point fifteen, in a cafe. Hi, what can I get you? I'd like a latte, please. Sure, to have in or take away. Have in. And、um, what size do you want? Small, medium, or large? Large, please. Would you like anything to eat? A croissant, some toast. I'd like some toast, please. No problem. And can I have some honey with the toast? Of course. Take a seat, and I'll bring it over.